I know what you're thinking, fast food, omelette, obvious. But we're gonna show you how to make a really great gourmet omelette in under 10 minutes. Yeah, super simple, but not necessarily as simple as that that you might have seen on British television when they throw it together in 15 seconds. This is going to be delicious. It starts by prepping pepper and onion. And while we're peeling and slicing, de-seeding and slicing, we can also heat a pan up on the hob over medium to high heat. Technically speaking, an omelette could just be butter, eggs, seasoned salt and pepper, but we're gonna jam this thing full of spices. So in our pan, in a knob of butter which will let foam, we're then gonna add cumin, oregano, smoked paprika, and a pinch of chili. All of those spices will begin to bubble and toast in the butter. Do you know one of the things that makes midweek cooking simple and easier? And that's if you've got a stocked larder or dry yes. store. If you've got these spices to hand in little pots of any size or shape, they're just good to go and it simplifies everything. And also building up that knowledge of the herbs that go well with what spices and that kind of thing. Just easy. Smoked paprika, cumin, they're kind of earthy yep. flavours. Great with more earthy flavoured herbs. You could go for something like thyme, parsley, would be really good with chives, with like onioniness, or we can go for coriander. Yep. So it's got that kind of South American feel. Peppers and onion go into the pan. Now we've got the spices in there, that's kind of the earthy flavours. We now want the sweetness from the onion and peppers. And the tips from yesterday's video showed you that if you were to do this properly, you'd probably want 15, 20 minutes of slow cooking yep. to let those natural sugars come out. We're gonna skip that. We're gonna go for a high heat, get some color on it, and that's why we've chosen a big pan, not just because we make, make the omelet in it in a second, but also larger surface area. And when we're happy it's nearly done, a pinch of sugar is a bit of a cheat. Ooh. While we wait for them to soften, we can crack four eggs into a bowl, give them a whisk up with a fork, and season them. It's like cooking in a wok, use all the surfaces of the pan. Now this is what we're talking about. This, they're not as good as they could be. Nope. We're gonna cheat ahead on time with a pinch of sugar and a little splash of water into a hot pan. It very quickly evaporates off, it quickly cooks it down again. And then, <coughs> <laughs> that's the chilli. But this is one of those tips that helps you to get 80 to 85% of the result in half the time, if not less. Easy. Exactly. What you want to wait for now is make sure all the steam has gone, because you want to get rid of the water, and then the eggs are going to go in. Now, the key to a good omelette, and I'm going to get my caveats in early, okay. is a good non-stick pan. A good non-stick pan that is super hot. Yep. Okay, and then you can add the eggs in, move it and swill it about, but you don't want to move it too much. Just like you would a pancake, Give it a bit of swill to find its own level. Just don't try and toss it. No, not this one. But we're going to leave it. We're going to give it 30 seconds to a minute to begin to cook around the edges. Round the edges, kind of fold into the middle. And let the uncooked egg find the gaps. What I like about this kind of midweek food is it's so easy to walk into a shop, buy a microwave meal for relatively quite a lot of money compared to what this would cost. Yes. It takes just about the same sort of time to make, but this is going to be so much more nutritious. It's fresh and you've made it. That doesn't, and that it's going to taste doesn't better. compare. Yeah. And you can personalise it. If you don't want it spicy or if you want it super spicy yep. or if you want to put some lemon zest in it, make it more citrusy, entirely up to you. While we wait for that to cook on the underside and gain a bit of colour, I'm just going to take one plum tomato get rid of the wet middles and dice it up. Canoe it. Canoe it, I think we've coined that phrase. Now a couple of tips, what you want is a spatula, preferably one that's not gonna melt in a hot pan, and just go around the edges to make sure nothing is stuck. Better still, give the pan a bit of a wobble, and the whole thing should be free of the bottom. But you can see it's not entirely cooked on top. Yep. When it so nearly almost is, we're then gonna scatter with tomato, that we've just diced up, and some gorgeous goat's cheese. And go for one that's quite salty and quite tangy, because that's where the flavour's gonna come from nice. to balance out the spices. One of those things I've done but not said? Yep. Three quarters of the tomato are going in, because we want to save some for garnish. Garnish, because omelettes are French. <laughs> now at this point, we're gonna turn the heat of the pan off, and we're gonna fold over half of the omelette to kind of seal it in. Bit, a bit like that. A bit like that. If you can do it better, do. 
Now at this point, it gives you the nerves. Yeah. I, see, this, really is, can. this is not the omelette. I would, it normally goes better than this. Do you know what's good about midweek meal? You're only cooking for yourself and it doesn't matter. At this point, you kind of want to leave it in the pan for another 30 seconds to let the residual heat cook through. And then you want to flip it out onto there to give you your omelette. Now that looks more tortilla-esque. <coughs> yeah. Oh, hang on a second. I think that was just a brownie point <laughs> flying out the window. You can cover up a cardinal of sins with plating. Remember, beauty is not skin deep. It's all in the flavour. <laughs> I'm gonna let you take all of the credit for the plating of that. A little bit of yoghurt. Again, it's slightly tight. It's gonna cut through that. More fresh tomato. Some fresh coriander or parsley or thyme, whatever herbs you've got. And what we have there is a mountain of a feast for a midweek meal. I'm not gonna say that's the best omelette in the world. What I am going to say is it was quick, tasty, gourmet and super delicious. Sorted. Welcome boys. Thank you, Ben. Oh, omelette time. This is bright. Now, is it bright to make up for the dish or is it bright and the dish is delicious? Also, that is a hefty portion. It looks very Mediterranean. It? I'm not sure you'd well, need wait. a four-egg omelette on your own, but if it's your main course, maybe. If not, split this between two for a nice breakfast or lunch. Ten minutes. Under pressure, how fast could you could you put an omelette? Ooh. And be proud of it. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is more spiced mm -hmm. than the usual omelette. Like yep. there's a lot of flavour going on there. It's, it's fresh, it is eggy. The creaminess is lovely. I've avoided the goat's cheese because I don't really like cheese, but I imagine if you do like goat's cheese, it's really delicious. Delicious. And the red pepper flavour and crunch. And I think really that's the key, the red it's pepper great. crunch. Because we cooked it quickly, they're not super sweet, so we have sacrificed on the really kind of soft onion and pepper, but the flavour's still there. Good work. Good work. Nice Can I ask you a question? Yep. How are you feeling tomorrow, going up against a uh, arguably better chef? I mean, you've got all your mistakes out of the way now, so you should be ready to If go. I take on some of my tips from yesterday mm -hmm. and put them into practice and actually practice, then I might be able to get the battle on Sunday to the time that we've been allowed. There's a winner and a loser, and I think Ben, if he wins, he gets a brownie point. James, if he wins, he just gets our utmost respect. And that's the victory all of he lives the brownie for. point away from me. Well, if you want all the details for this recipe, they're in the link downstairs. Don't forget to come back on Friday where we're going to be doing a now cook it avo on toast with poached eggs. Oh, hello. Very and also, don't forget to come back on Sunday, the ultimate chef versus chef, 14 and a half minute ultimate chef battle. The sweating already was just a very mild spice in that. <laughs> I think it was the speed of the omelette and the slight stress of turning it out. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.